In this tutorial, we'll just take another quick look at this uh, masterpiece canvas surface that we were working with before. So the brush moves along in the scene. Let's see. Get it to move backward. Get it to move backwards now. See, it's painting in the scene. And I'm doing this because somebody had asked about wetness in the dynamic paint, but I wasn't able to see what it would do automatically. Um, it looks. It says it was for black and right, black and white output for rendering, so, but so otherwise I just thought I'd point out a few other things just in case. So first here is we have this canvas in here. Let's see if I can get these. Oh, I have my display turned off. Okay, there it is. So so also in here when you have if you want to do these kind of effects, you can click on the canvas and come down here to the dynamic paint effects. It's usually like this. And you can either set the spread, which what I have here, because normally I was just running it like this. Like this. But if you set the spread, and I'll we'll cut this down so it doesn't spread so fast. I'll cut it even down a little bit more. So it just spreads a little bit. Like that. Or you can crank it way up. So this, so this is one nice effect you can do with it. And the other one is you can use the drip instead. We'll get, get rid of the spread and use the drip. And just by that, by itself, that'll actually work. Let me see. I'll just go back to the beginning. And you'll see the paint starts dripping off the canvas right away. And it mixes quite well. You can change the gravity so, so it doesn't drip as fast. We'll cut it way down. Let's see. See it slows down, so you get some great effects. Actually, probably at some point in time, I'll when I uh, continue with the Python programming series, within there you can build all your own menus over here and numbers, just like all this is built in. And once I do that series of tutorials, I'll probably end up just making a complete paint program in 3D because I've been writing paint programs in 2D for years. They're just fun for me. I like them, and in 3D it looks. You know, to be just as easy, easy with Blender, they give you a lot of power. And um, since I have a great interest in geometric designs and fractal geometry, I'll kind of implement that type of stuff within it. So, all right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.